When you hear the word castle, a lot of things come to mind, like the Cinderella castle, or the different castles in movies like Game of Thrones. Or perhaps you have one specific castle that comes to mind. Well, regardless of wherever you find the relation from, castles are every bit of what you must have heard of them. And if there's one thing about all of them, then it is how they depict royalty, riches, and luxury. In today's video, I'll be taking you through some of the most expensive castles in the world. And without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Welcome to Lavish Luxury. If you're interested in everything from showcasing luxury to luxury lifestyle, the life of the rich, the most expensive things in the world, finance, education, and write about everything that means luxury, then this is the right channel for you. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell of the channel to stay updated on more luxurious videos to come and also ensure you like this video. Starting off this list is the 900-year-old castle in the village of Amberley, West Sussex. The land on which it stands was a gift from Cadwalla, the King of Wessex, to Bishop Wilfred in 683 AD, and one of its earliest uses was as a timber-framed hunting lodge. The castle would later then be transformed into a fortified manor house by Bishop Luffer, and even despite all its history, it is now in use as a privately owned hotel. The castle is located in a place that comes with a serene view. Walking through the castle's portcullis leads you to a large courtyard, where a stone walkway leads to the hotel that is enclosed around the 60-foot walls of the castle. The hotel has 19 rooms, all of which are well furnished with antiques, brass, and pretty magnificent fabrics. While the castle might not be up for sale, the cost of spending a night there usually starts from £250 and even potentially up to £565, depending on the offers available. If the castle was still up for sale, however, it would be worth around tens of millions. Next on the list is another grand castle called the Edinburgh Castle. This castle is actually one of the oldest and iconic castles in Scotland. The castle is known to have been home for kings and queens dating back to the 12th century. The Great Hall in the castle is also on record to have hosted grand banquets and state events. The castle houses the St. Margaret Chapel, which is the oldest building in Edinburgh, as well as the Scottish crown jewels known as the Honours of Scotland. Most of the castle's buildings, in care of Historic Environment Scotland, now serve as museums, with the castle actually being the most visited tourist attraction site in Scotland. Unfortunately, if living in this historic castle like a king or queen is your dream, then you might be disappointed that it is also not for sale, though you can visit the castle with tickets at £15.50. Should the castle still be in the market though, it would have been worth a whopping $100 million or more. Located outside the western wall of the city of Dubrovnik in Croatia is the famed Fortress Lovrenac. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, then you surely must find this castle familiar. The castle is located 37 meters above sea level and has two entrances, one by land and the other by sea. It has been reported that the castle dates back to 1018 or 1038, and that's how long the fortress has been standing. The fortress is triangular in shape with three terraces surrounded by thick walls of the castle. As you must have expected, the castle is not up for sale and is in fact a tourist attraction center with ticket prices for a full tour starting from 52 euros. When you think of a castle, or picture what a castle might look like, I'm pretty sure that what you're thinking or seeing is close to what the Neuschwanstein Castle is. And it is no doubt one of the reasons why it was the inspiration for the castle used in Disney's Sleeping Beauty. The Neuschwanstein Castle is located in Bavaria, Germany, and it was commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria in honor of German composer Richard Wagner. The interior of the castle is quite impressive, with spots like the Hall of Singers, the throne room, drawing room, study room, dining room, and the king's bedroom all looking magnificently designed to depict luxury. The Hall of Singers and the throne room are the largest rooms in the castle, with the Hall of Singers at 27 by 10 meters in size and the throne room at 20 by 13 meters. Like pretty much all the castles on the list so far, 
the Neuschwanstein Castle is not for sale and was made open to the public for tours shortly after the death of King Ludwig II. The construction of the uncompleted castle is reported to be around 50 million euros. In today's worth, the castle will be available for sale at almost 300 million euros. Since it's not available for sale, then you might want to take a tour of the place, with ticket prices starting from 15 euros. From Bavaria in Germany, we move straight to Kemi in Finland, with something you'd most likely see only in movies. You've probably seen many nice castles before, but how about a real snow castle? Well, the snow castle of Kemi is the biggest snow fort in the world, and what makes it pretty interesting is that it is always rebuilt with a new design every winter. While there is always a change in design every now and then, the snow chapel, snow restaurant, and the snow hotel are three recurring places in every rebuilt design of the snow castle. If you find this place interesting enough to want to live there, then you can lodge a couple of days at the snow hotel, with prices starting from 250 euros. To gain entry into the castle for a tour though, ticket prices are at around 15 euros. As you might have expected, the snow castle is not for sale, but I can imagine it will cost a fortune should the case be different. Straight from Finland to France, where we can find the magnificent Chateau de Chambord. Right from the view of the castle from the gates, albeit from a helicopter just looking over the castle, the site is absolutely something else. And I mean in a good way. Interestingly, it took the Chateau de Chambord 28 whole years to build, and it was initially meant to be a hunting lodge for Prince Francis I. With a look at the designs of the decorations installed in this castle, it is no surprise that Leonardo da Vinci was involved in developing the designs. The castle has 426 rooms, 83 staircases, and incredibly, 282 fireplaces. One pretty interesting feature in the castle is the Leonardo da Vinci-inspired double helix staircase that is set in the central axis of the castle and turned out to be a revolutionary design. The grand gardens in the castle are also quite impressive as they come with 600 trees, 800 shrubs, 200 roses and 15,250 plants altogether in the lawns. The chateau also has the largest enclosed park in Europe with 5,440 hectares, surrounded by 32 kilometers of walls. If you were wondering whether the castle is for sale, well, sorry to disappoint you, but it is not. In fact, it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981 and now allows the public to come in for tours. Ticket prices start from 14 euros. And to get a feel of what it must be like to sleep in a castle, the price of lodging at the hotel in the Chateau de Chambord starts from 150 euros. If it was for sale though, maybe we'd probably be looking at a billion euros or more. Buckingham Palace simply needs no introduction. It is the residence of the British royal family and is one of the most popular places in the world today. In the palace, there are 775 rooms, including the white drawing room, throne room, ballroom and music room all of which, from merely looking at them, depicts the grandeur of this place. The Palace Garden is also pretty popular and is the largest private garden in London. If Buckingham Palace was up for sale, or even at least for rent, it would probably be one of the most expensive castles ever to exist. Wrapping up the list is the Ashford Castle in Mayo Island, where everything about this castle spells out luxury. The castle is about 800 years old, and served quite a number of purposes before it was eventually turned into a five-star luxury hotel. So if you happen to stop by an island and you need to treat yourself to a full package of luxury, one of the oldest castles in the world is ready for you. The castle comes with 83 bedrooms, six suites, as well as some of the best designs there is for a castle, all within its 365 acres of space. In 2008, the castle was bought for 50 million euros by a property investor named Jerry Barrett, though he would eventually sell it for half the price five years later. The castle happens to be one of the most expensive castles in the world, and even spending the night there can also be quite expensive, as you can expect to spend up to 500 euros for just a night. Of all the castles listed, 
Which one catches your attention the most? Kindly respond in the comments section. And don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video.